Welcome to yet another edition of Draw My Life. Hoping all is well. Today, we are covering the career and life of living legend Mariah Carey. Here we go. So Miss Mariah Carey born March 27, 1969 or 1970, is an American singer-songwriter and actress. Known for her five-octave vocal range, melismatic singing style, and signature use of the whistle register, she is referred to as the Songbird Supreme by Guinness World Records. She rose to fame in 1990 with her eponymous debut album, released under the guidance of Columbia Records executive Tommy Motola, who married her three years later. Carrie is the first artist in history to have their first five singles reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100, from Vision of Love to Emotions. She achieved worldwide success with follow-up albums Music Box, 1993, Merry Christmas, 1994, and Daydream, 1995. These albums spawned some of Carrie's most successful singles, including Hero, Without You, All I Want for Christmas Is You, Fantasy, Always Be My Baby, as well as One Sweet Day, which topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Decade End Chart, 1990s. After separating from Motola, Carrie adopted a new image and incorporated more elements of hip-hop into her music with the release of Butterfly, 1997. Billboard named her the country's most successful artist of the 1990s, while the World Music Awards honored her as the world's best-selling music artist of the 1990s, and the best-selling pop female artist of the millennium. After 11 consecutive years charting a U.S. number one single, Carrie parted ways with Columbia in 2001 and signed an $80 million recording contract with Virgin Records in April of that year. However, Following her highly publicized physical and emotional breakdown, as well as the critical and commercial failure of her film Glitter, 2001, and its accompanying soundtrack, her contract was bought out for $28 million by Virgin and she signed with Island Records the following year. After a relatively unsuccessful period, she returned to the top of music charts with The Emancipation of Mimi, 2005, the world's second best-selling album of 2005. Its second single, we Belong Together, topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Decade End Chart, 2000s. Her performance the 2009 film Precious won her the Breakthrough Actress Performance Award at the Palm Springs International Film Festival. Carrie's subsequent ventures included serving as a judge on American Idol, starring in the docuseries Mariah's World, and appearing in the films The Butler, 2013, A Christmas Melody, 2015, and The Lego Batman Movie. 2017. With sales of over 200 million records worldwide, she is one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Carrie has amassed an extensive catalog, with 19 of her songs topping the Billboard Hot 100, and holds the record for the most number one singles by a solo artist, a female songwriter, and a female producer, according to the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. She is the second highest certified female artist in the United States with 66.5 million certified album units. In 2012, she was ranked second on VH1's list of the 100 Greatest Women in Music. In 2019, Billboard named her the all-time top female artist in the United States, based on both album and song chart performances. Aside from her commercial accomplishments, Carrie has won five Grammy Awards, 19 World Music Awards, 10 American Music Awards, and 15 Billboard Music Awards. An inductee of the Songwriters Hall of Fame, she is noted for inspiring other artists in pop and contemporary R&B music. Mariah Carey was born in Huntington, New York, on March 27, 1969 or 1970. Her name was derived from the song they call The Wind Maria, originally from the 1951 Broadway musical Paint Your Wagon. She is the third and youngest child of Patricia, née Hickey, a former opera singer and vocal coach of Irish descent, and Alfred Roy Carey, an aeronautical engineer of African-American and Afro-Venezuelan lineage. The last name Carey was adopted by her Venezuelan grandfather, Francisco Nunez, after he emigrated to New York. Patricia's family disowned her for marrying a black man. Racial tensions prevented the Carey family from integrating into their community. While living in Huntington, neighbors poisoned the family dog and set fire to their car. After her parents' divorce, Carrie had little contact with her father, and her mother worked several jobs to support the family. 
Carrie spent much of her time at home alone and began singing at the age of three, often imitating her mother's take on Verdi's opera Rigoletto in Italian. While her elder sister Allison moved in with their father, Mariah, and her older brother Morgan remained with their mother. During her years in elementary school, she excelled in the arts, such as music and literature. Carrie began writing poetry and lyrics while attending Harbifields High School in Greenlawn, New York, where she graduated in 1987. Carrie began vocal training under the tutelage of her mother. Though a classically trained opera singer, Patricia never pressured her daughter to pursue a career in classical opera. Carrie recalled that she had never been a pushy mom. She never said, give it more of an operatic feel. I respect opera like crazy, but it didn't influence me. In high school, she was frequently absent because of her work as a demo singer, her classmates consequently gave her the nickname Mirage. Her work in the Long Island music scene gave her opportunities to work with musicians such as Gavin Christopher and Ben Margulies, with whom she co-wrote material for her demo tape. After moving to New York City, Carrie worked part-time jobs to pay the rent, and she completed 500 hours of beauty school. Carrie moved into a one-bedroom apartment in Manhattan, which she shared with four other female students. She landed a gig singing backup for Puerto Rican freestyle singer Brenda K. Starr. Throughout her career, Carrie has earned numerous awards and honors. She has won five Grammy Awards, 19 World Music Awards, 10 American Music Awards, and 15 Billboard Music Awards. She is also an inductee of the Songwriters Hall of Fame. As of September 2020, the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA, lists Carrie as the second best-selling female artist, with shipments of over 66.5 million units in the U.S. Carrie has spent 82 weeks at the number one position on Billboard Hot 100, the greatest number for any artist in U.S. chart history. On that same chart, she has accumulated 19 number one singles, the most for any solo artist, and second behind the Beatles, and she is also the only artist to have a number one song in each year of a decade, 1990s decade. Carrie has also had three songs debut atop the Hot 100 chart with Fantasy, One Sweet Day and Honey. Carrie was also the first female artist to debut at number one in the U.S. with Fantasy. Her hit single One Sweet Day, which featured Boys Two Men, spent 16 consecutive weeks at the top of Billboard's Hot 100 chart in 1996, setting the record for the most weeks atop the Hot 100 chart in history until surpassed in 2019 by Old Town Road. In 2008, Billboard listed We Belong Together ninth on the Billboard Hot 100 All-Time Top Songs and second on Top Billboard Hot 100 R&B slash Hip Hop Songs. The song was also declared the most popular song of the 2000s decade by Billboard. Carrie's holiday album Merry Christmas has sold over 15 million copies worldwide, and is the best-selling Christmas album of all time. It also produced the successful single All I Want For Christmas Is You which became the only holiday song and ringtone to reach multi-platinum status in the U.S. In 2018, Carrie became the first artist to replace herself at the number one spot on Billboard's Top R&B Albums chart with Caution being replaced by Merry Christmas. Carrie's vocal style, as well as her singing ability, have significantly impacted popular and contemporary music. She has consistently been cited as one of the greatest and most influential vocalists of all time. As music critic G. Brown from the Denver Post wrote, for better or worse, Mariah Carey's five-octave range and melismatic style have influenced a generation of pop singers. One of Carey's biggest milestones has been to close out the 90s on a very high note after being named Billboard's Artist of the Decade in 1999. MTV writer Erica Harwood wrote that she is also known for ruling the 90s from fashion to music. Numerous historians and social scientists have also credited Carrie's outspokenness on her own multiracial heritage for facilitating public discourse surrounding race relations in the United States, as well as the advent of intersectional feminism, during the 1990s. Tell us your thoughts in the comments below today's video. Are you a fan of Mariah's? If you are, what do you like about her? We want your opinions. Subscribe to our channel for more Draw My Life videos. And stay tuned for our Pennywise video.